We peer. Your idea. In education research. This is my second time running Peer in Cologne, and it is wonderful to be back in this great city and work with these fantastic folks at this university. Uh, what we're doing here is it's three days and then a break and then three more days and we're really focusing on issues of building capacity and community for education research. So the students here are just really excited and really energetic about how it is that they will learn to do education research and they're really grappling with a diverse array of projects. It's very special. Yes, definitely. Like, I would recommend it to everybody who is in any way interested in research. So, for example, me, I know I don't want to be a researcher, but I am so happy that I was part of PEER because I have learned also so many things which are not especially connected to research, which are important on a personal level, I don't know, like ethics, work-life balance or equity inclusion, like peer gets you wherever you're at. Without peer, I would have probably stopped my PhD long ago. The drawbacks and upcoming challenges. Why should I do this to myself when I could be a tenured teacher at any German school? But my first peer research camp, I realized how crucially important we are in education research. We are the ones that spark the big changes. So we've been doing Pierce Field Schools for five and a half years now. We've had over a hundred participants. Participants in Pierce have published almost 20 peer-reviewed papers using the work that they did with Pierce. Um, we've done field schools in Africa, here in Cologne, uh, the U.S. We're really building a, a, an international intercontinental big community of people who are interested in doing this kind of work and are working to figure out the research together. The thing that makes PEER really special and unique among the landscape of how do people learn to be professionals is that we're really focusing on how do you learn to do education research and nobody else does it in an intense, experiential way. What's your superpower? <laughs> I like to motivate people. <laughs> um, so one of the underlying philosophies of, of, research, of our research and of peer is that uh, research is fun, research is play, and the more people we have playing together, the more fun it is. Yeah, so peer is not just what we do in this room, but we're really building community and building capacity to engage in this research over more than just the duration of the camp, but over the following academic year and beyond. For the last nine years, I've been thinking a lot about what are the benefits of bringing together people from different areas, how they can talk productively and work together as a group uh, and support each other, and, and in the process, create research and do research that uh, would be much poorer if it was only within one discipline. Um, yeah, so I came um, from Spain for this uh, workshop because I thought it was going to be very relevant to my um, master thesis project and also in general because I'm very interested in education research and um, felt like it would be fun to meet people that are engaged in that same field. Um, interdisciplinary settings are generally something that I very much enjoy because it gives me new ideas and makes me think about different things so um, I enjoy that a lot. I was like, hey, what's peer? <laughs> like, this was more like in the context of Mikados, which is an intercultural network for uh, at the University of Cologne. I think peer is really nice because um, it doesn't matter um, where you're at. So, if you're a bachelor student, if you're in your first semesters, or if you're, I don't know, writing your dissertation already. So, um, peer is for everyone. 
We need diversity in research groups because it turns out that diverse teams are more productive, produce better science, and uh, think more broadly about what are the problems and how to solve them. We are stronger together. When we do research together and when we have a diverse team, the work we do will be better work. In the field I'm working, empirical research gets more important um, from year to year, but unfortunately we didn't get the information. Or during our studies we didn't get to know about research methods um, and unfortunately we don't have the time to tell our students today or don't have enough time to tell them all about research methods. I joined Pierre at the Rochester Institute of Technology and I immediately thought, wow, I want that in Cologne. Why doesn't that exist yet? We're one of the biggest teacher education facilities in Europe. So I invited them and they came. Ich würde auf jeden Fall sagen, dass es mich in meinem Interesse weiter zu forschen gestärkt hat und dass ich das dementsprechend einfach nur als gewinnbringende Ressource sehe, in der Zukunft weiterzumachen. Wenn ich die Chance habe und ich direkt ins Ref gehe. Ähm, ja, und ich würde es einfach jedem weiterempfehlen, weil das einfach auch so ein bisschen die Angst nimmt. Man hat immer das Gefühl, man muss, müsste der beste Student an der Universität sein, um zu forschen. Und hier hat man einfach das Gefühl, es steckt viel Arbeit hinter, aber wenn du Lust hast, die Forschung weiterzubringen, dann ist das genau der richtige Step und dann mach weiter da, wo du gerade stehst. Because I really like the atmosphere that they created within the group. And I think that's something very powerful um, to make people feel comfortable in um, a classroom situation and to create this motivational spirit to like this um, positive affirmations and like um, have people um, like working together and building community and encouraging that all the time.